This is Bianca Ketter, recording live for stpbroadcast.com. I'm here with Thomas Bannister from Rochester, New York, and we're going to talk about his trip to Liberia and Ghana. First of all, I wanted to start by asking, what do you do here in Rochester? Uh, I'm retired, so it allows me the privilege of being able to travel and, and do some of the things that I've always wanted to do. Okay, and you're alpha. I'm Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, which is the group that uh, set up the trip going to Liberia, and I was a part of that trip. Okay. What encouraged you guys to take this trip? Uh, there were a number of um, uh, alphas in Liberia, whether they were uh, grew up there, or they were part of the fraternity that was established there in, in uh, back in the 50s, or uh, they were. Went to school, went to college here in the U.S., and became Alpha, and then moved back to Liberia. And so there were a number of men. As a matter of fact, there were 17 uh, that were inaugurated uh, into the rechartering of the chapter uh, in this past year. You guys went to Liberia for the inauguration. We we actually went for the rechartering, and it happened to be when the inauguration was taking place. And I think it was because. Um, Mrs. Johnson, the president, is an AKA and therefore familiar with uh, fraternities and sororities. She invited us to the inauguration. Okay. How was the inauguration for you? It was wonderful. Uh, it was an exciting experience. Uh, it's the first inauguration that I've been to. I didn't even get to the one of Obama here in the United States. So this was, was my... Uh, uh, great experience of going to inauguration, so it was, it was just wonderful. Um, you also attended the ball. I, the I I attended one of the balls, and uh, she and she was there in attendance, and um, we had a, a wonderful time. Uh, and a, a, my Liberian uh, experience of um, meeting with the the elite, if you will, mm -hmm. to get to. Okay, it was a picture and, of the president and vice president entering the. Um, Ah, uh, yes. Um, after we went to the uh, inauguration, a couple days later, we had the rechartering uh, process. Now, since Ellen uh, Sirleaf Johnson is um, an AKA, since she went to school here in the United States, mm -hmm. she is an AKA, and so she was a proud representative of Alpha Kappa Alpha mm -hmm. Sorority at our rechartering event along with other AKs and, and so she, and she gave a speech and everything. So it was a very enjoyable time as we rechartered our chapter and she was there uh, with us and, and you, that picture you saw is just the AKs and Alphas uh, of Liberia surrounding her mm -hmm. along with uh, uh, Skip Mason who's the president of, our, our, of the fraternity from a national um, what kinds of improvements and developments do you feel that Liberia needs after going to there? Um, I could see that the the war, the all the things that took place over the past, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 years or so, has really um, uh, allowed the, the, the country not to make any progress uh, during that time. And you could see that in its infrastructure, its roads, its uh, transportation, and all those kinds of things. Uh, so the need is great, uh, both from uh, agriculture and then how you transport that agriculture, the produce, to market. Uh, you need to build up the, uh, uh, the development of factories and things like that to, to manufacture uh, the goods that you can uh, the natural resources that you have in that country, and the natural resources are are uh, quite uh, quite large, I think. Mm. Um, what did you learn from your experience? Did you like the environment and the people? In I Liberia? did like the environment and the people because it's not a, a lot different than like uh, being in a a place that's very near and dear to being a, in the U.S. Right. It's almost like visiting a another state but just less developed. Right. Uh, so the, I found the people friendly, um, the, the uh, uh, transactions that had to take place monetarily were easy because they use American money. Um, the, they have a good understanding of, because a number of uh, people have been, have gone to school in the U.S., so there's a good understanding of, of uh, how we f both function, yeah. both uh, how 
uh, uh, Liberians see Americans functioning as well as how we, at least wise as African Americans, see Liberia functioning. So it was an easy uh, visit. So it wasn't as stereotypical as the Americans make it seem to be all dusty roads and elephants and giraffes. No, and nothing is all stereotypical, no. Uh, as, um, as you saw in the, some of the pictures I showed you earlier, traffic abounds. Um, of course, that's partly due to the need for the development of, of roads and things yeah. like that. Ellen is the first female president in Liberia, as well as Obama being the first black president in America. Yes. What do you feel is the bridge that, had, what do you feel about the bridge that was created between Liberia and the United States? Well, what I've found uh, between, uh, on that bridge, let me call it on that bridge, is that a, um, a relationship uh, has been created between Liberia and the United States where Liberia feels that they're like a colony or a part of the United States. Unfortunately, the other way around, the United States does not look at Liberia as a uh, as a as its colony or as its uh, uh, state or uh, territory with, with which they have a relationship. Uh, but let's look at it from a, from the standpoint of Puerto Rico or the Virgin Islands or things like that, where they're kind of like territories uh, of the United States. Um, Liberia is not looked at in that particular manner. Now, uh, could there be improvement in this relationship over the next four years? I think so. Uh, but I think it'll take the work of um, uh, African Americans being on the ground to set the stage for this relationship uh, so that as it begins to unfold, uh, I think the president can then support what is already in place. Africans freed from slavery and runaway African slaves arrived on board the Elizabeth nicknamed the Black Mayflower on West African shores in 1820. Immediately they landed on Providence Island, and you saw them they, 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 with a photograph there. They were just thinking, oh thank God, we are arrived to a safe place. These African-American pioneers met a formidable force of indigenous African warriors who vowed to drive them back into the sea from whence they had arrived. Today, soberly on top of the Mamba Hill stand statues in honor of both pioneers and indigenous tribal people who perished during bloody bout that had ensued. Oh, to, to resist the, the indigenous warriors, they came to attack them because they were not happy that they had come to take their land. So she, she fired a candle against them and from that day, December 1st up to today, there have been peace. It was after the, the war. There have been peace between the pioneers and the indigenous of Liberia. In reconciliation in 1847, both pioneers and indigenous Africans founded this glorious land of liberty, Liberia, Africa's first and only republic for a hundred years. Uh, it was a beautiful waterfalls in Liberia, wonderful uh, place. It uh, had natural pools and it's a natural waterfalls. Uh, the problem is it is uh, not so much that it's far out, it's just, it's difficult to get to. We went through a lot of dusty roads and things like that to get to it. And then we come into this wonderful oasis, this waterfall. And I think the, 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 the thing is, there's a lot of places I would imagine are like that yeah. in Liberia. It's just, they're not easily accessible yeah. as this place was. We, had, we went there, it's not far from Cuttington University. Yeah. We had a beautiful lunch. Uh, and with with the, the, all the folks that were around the, the the students from Cuttington, as well as folks that just live in the in the general area, uh, and mixed with us as alphas, uh, it was just a beautiful family picnic. Uh, but like I said, it's a it's a it was at a place that it's difficult to get to, and somehow we have to make places like this available uh, for just everyone to be able. to. Okay, you also went to Ghana. How was that? Yes, I, I, I did get the chance to travel to Ghana. I've gone to Ghana a number of times, so that was wonderful, and I got to renew old friendships and, and things like that. It was a good visit. Plus, I had the added experience of going to the Budumburu, uh refugee camp, Liberian refugee camp, while I was there, so I, I took that in as well. So that was all part of my um, winter adventure this year. You got some souvenirs, I saw? Yes, I did. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? 
Of course, one of the things that I strived for, because some of these were harder to get than others, was my fan, and that fan is of the president and vice president of Liberia. I needed to make sure that I had my flag of, um, of Liberia. Now, you notice the similarity between this flag and the United, United States. States. Uh, of course, the United States is made up of 50 states where Liberia is just one state, right. but a very similar flag, which really pertains to the relationship that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, Ellen Sirleaf Johnson. She was really encouraging uh, for the country, in the, especially in her speeches, because she's trying to get um, the country to stand together, to work together, to build the country, to rebuild it, uh, as well as to help one another rebuild it instead of standing against each other, I presume, as in the past. Uh, that we were provided, provided, see this, inauguration, 2012, uh, Republic of Liberia, and we were given this, these beautiful pens uh, from Liberia. And then we were given a number of uh, special inauguration issue magazines, um, and it, of course it favors uh, the president. All right. This inauguration uh, water bottle that we had because it was quite warm, mm -hmm. uh, but there were a lot of little things that were uh, about, but there were limited supply, so we got what things we could and some things we weren't able to. Uh, we had this beautiful um, images, and these are images of Ellen Sirleaf Johnson and some of the work that she's been doing uh, in the country. The, this in this particular inauguration is her second inauguration. Uh, her second term, okay. and uh, so she's accomplished quite a bit on her first term. This uh, next term, we hope, will be uh, much greater. And of course, we went to the investment uh, group there, and they provided us information about Liberia's investment, uh, the growth, and, and uh, the success that they're trying to achieve by having uh, African Americans as well as Americans involved in their in their growth. So hopefully, we can establish a good relationship between America and Liberia that will be helpful in terms of that growth. Okay, looks like you had fun. I did. I did, and we we were. Uh, anointed with all of these wonderful things, uh, but it's good for the memory, but it doesn't do us any good unless we go back right. and uh, renew the relationship and accomplish what we have talked about trying to accomplish. Okay. Point of view. Okay. What were your thoughts when you saw her and the Vice President entering? Well, I thought that was a very gracious of them, uh, number one. Uh, it also shows the support and I think the possibilities of establishing uh, a good relationship with Liberia between the United States and Liberia. So that goes back to the bridge conversation we were having. Do I think it's possible? Absolutely. Uh, and I don't think it would be that difficult since I think there's already a basis for understanding. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay.